The Early Show continues now from the General Motors building in New York City. This morning on Health Watch, battling breast cancer at an early age. New research suggests that preteens who exercise and eat right may be less likely to get breast cancer later in life. Dr. Elisa Port is a breast cancer specialist from the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. Good morning. Good morning, Hannah. It's good to see you again. Thank you. Why are we looking at this age group? It's becoming clearer that what happens in younger aged women when the breasts are developing and they're susceptible to hormonal influences may play a role down the line in their risk of breast cancer. And what happens is if younger women are exercising and doing things to change their hormone levels, this may have a strong impact when these cells and the breasts are making these changes. Okay, so these preteen years when the breasts are developing could prove to be very critical. Absolutely. First thing that, that you want parents to know is to emphasize exercise. And why is that so important? When young women exercise, they're definitely changing hormone levels in their bodies. We've all heard about younger women who exercise can really affect, for example, their menstrual cycle. And the menstrual cycle obviously affects the amount of estrogen the body sees. Estrogen can affect breast development and so forth. So these, these, these factors that are going on younger in, in the younger age groups can definitely affect breast development. Okay, let me break this down. Uh, girls who exercise quite a bit can actually delay the onset of getting their period, right? And that can yes. be beneficial, potentially, in terms of, of breast cancer? It can be in terms of the amount of estrogen over a long period of time okay. that the breasts see. How much exercise would you want to encourage your preteen to get? So there's no exact answer to this. We mm -hmm. don't really know that. But one of the estimates is about an hour a day of vigorous exercise, similar to the kind of exercise young women can get in a gym class or in recess, that sort of thing. Team sports are an excellent way of, of getting that exercise. Okay, so you can include gym, gym class and recess and those Absolutely. things when you're, when you're adding up that time. Limiting junk food is something else that, right. that I know you're talking about. And why right. is a healthy diet important? Right. right. For many reasons, we know for, for other health issues and so forth, but sure. certainly healthy foods such as vegetables, fresh fruit, grains, and so forth, protein, is very important because another source of estrogen is body fat. So if you're reducing okay. body fat stores, you're potentially reducing the amount of estrogen a young woman's body sees. And this is all about a healthy lifestyle, which will benefit our daughters in, in many, many ways. And you Absolutely. say a third thing that we can also do is talk to our kids about alcohol, yes. our daughters, right? Yes. Well, for obvious reasons, alcohol at a young age is bad for many reasons, but this is just one more thing that we have to be concerned about. Believe it or not, alcohol intake, more than one to two drinks a day, is the only dietary factor that has been clearly established to increase the risk of breast cancer. Mm. So obviously, if those habits are starting earlier, it's much more concerning. Yeah, great habits that we can establish that'll carry our daughters uh, through life. So thank you so much. My Appreciate pleasure. it. It'll be interesting to see what all the future research bears Absolutely. out about those years. That's Dr. Lisa Port. And still ahead, we're going to show you how some restaurants are hanging up on annoying cell phone users. We'll be right back.